I know. Okay, uh, yeah, shall we go my channel today? Take it away. <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm here. Um, this is Elf Helm on the Helm Rage YouTube channel, and we're gonna answer some true questions that yes. I found online and on Instagram, and yes. I thought it'd be really fun um, as adults to answer the questions that we yes. haven't been asked since we were youngsters. My fiance's family just met our family and just met Rage, like, his. his whole family, siblings, parents just yes. met Rachel for the first time because Shelby got engaged. Oh, we're going to bring it up as much as we can. <laughs> anyways, focusing. Anyways, oh, really it is. So they I met Rachel for the first time and then we had this whole discussion about why are twins so freaky still. Rachel's fed up with it. I'm just kind of sick of it. Like I'm not an She's alien. She's answered these questions many times. Me, I totally understand because I still get freaked out by twins. But yeah, I think really adults who still look at similar as we do is only get free here with age. Yeah. So I think that's fair. We're going to be answering these questions for the rest of our lives. It will never <laughs> end. I will <laughs> never <laughs> not have Shelby's but DNA. I've met an identical twin. Identical twins have met, you know, met us and been freaked out. Yeah. And even they are like, oh my god, I should be into this. I have a carbon copy of myself as well. I should be into it, but I'm not. I'm yeah. just I get it. Like, I'm when so I see like, twins, I freak out. But none Nonetheless, we're going to be answering some questions. questions. Ah! Okay, so, so I have, I only gave Rachel a few and then some I thought <laughs> it would be fun to just like spur out. So question number one, most okay. classic of them all. Classic, let me guess. Who's older? Who's the oldest? Me! Did you hear it? It's me. I am 10 minutes older and I will never let her forget. She will never let you forget. And I don't know why. Like. I won't it's all be I introduced have. to somebody in Rachel. By the way, I'm 10 minutes older. I'm like, what? We're so old at this point. Why is that? Who's asking? I I I tell it's strangers the all the time. Like, I don't know why. It's all I have in this world. Look, okay, let's just say the order of our family first. So basically there's four siblings. <laughs> basically, actually there are four siblings. Actually, <laughs> so Sarah's the oldest, and then there's Jake, and then there's me. And then 10 minutes later, there's Shelby. So we're all two years apart, so we're all like super close. Yeah, really. And close. I also feel like me and you, if it isn't obvious, we need so much attention because we yeah, got no attention. We really, like, we really did in our childhood. Like, our crazy mom had four kids under four. Four kids under four and twins at the bottom of that. That's an insane amount of yeah, children. Yeah, like, to by bring the time in. she had us, so, she was like, what are we gonna do? Whatever. Are we gonna fight whatever? Two of them? Like, we really, yeah. <coughs> it's so Ooh. hot in here. I'm sorry. I cracked yeah, the window, but it's so warm. <sighs> anyway, I'm 10 minutes older. Don't forget it. Um, Shelby's the baby of the family. And I'll say, in a lot of ways, like, I know it's only 10 minutes, but you can be the baby of the family. Really? Yeah. I don't see Sarah, see. Jake, and I all agree. We're like, I never no. see this complex, which is why I'm like, why do you hang on to it so tightly? It's Shelby is the baby of the family. Like, she's why? just more sensitive, and like, we just kind of have to, like, nurture you a little bit more. Well, I am sensitive, but I don't think... Yeah, I'm sensitive too, but <laughs> you're very... You're the baby. She's baby. I'm sensitive. Um, Fine. Okay, next, next question. question. What? Fun. What? Favorite memory together. Oh. I think we should think about this for a minute. Our favorite memory. How do you memory. even think? Mm. I know mine. I think. Probably, like... We talk about it all the time. While I was living in Amsterdam, Shelby came to visit me for my birthday, and I was gone a year. It was the first time we were ever apart for like a serious that was amount the of time. time we were ever apart, yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. So we got our tattoos. I guess we could talk about that. Yeah. My right hand. So our tattoos are uh, nine and an eleven. I actually don't know if that was the right. but um, our birthday is November 9th. So we nice thought it was like so cool. It was our nineteenth birthday. We wanted yeah. to get a sissy tattoo. We didn't want anything that we'd regret, so we just got something factual. Our birthday, something factual. <laughs> our birthday, and yeah, my right hand gal, super cute. Yeah, so cute. I'm not even showing it. Uh, that was a really nice. So trip. I liked that trip. It was a beautiful birthday. Yeah, my memories. I don't know, there's so many, like Rachel and I were and always have been best friends. So I would say two memories that I really loved from us. 
two memories I really love. We shared a room growing up. We had two twin beds in a really small room. And we were, like, I just remember every night, like, every single night, we'd lay awake and just talk about our, like, we would just be talking about life. We're yeah. talking about our dreams. We're just, like, talking. Like, we're just, like, in bed chatting. Just to each other you know, the and room. then we'd be like this. And it's like, yeah, and then I'm gonna, and both of us did this. We'd be like, shut up, because dream is on. As if it were a TV show. And then we'd just stop talking. And then five minutes later, we'd start talking again. But every night growing up, we'd be, yeah, I know. Yeah, shut up, because dream's on. We'd be like, we did that okay. for years. For so like, long. years. I wish we had, like, video. That was so funny. Yeah, we would just be talking, talking. And then as soon as one of us was, like, about to doze, we'd be like, shut up, because dream's on. I've got something cooking here. I can fall asleep right now. You better shut up. Yeah, stop talking. But it wasn't about. until high school that we, like, got separate. We got separate rooms. Do you know the irony of our room separation? Our final freedom. So, like, our house is old and had huge rooms. Um, yeah. So we were in like room, and my parents were in like what was technically the master bedroom, and they switched with us. And Only because they had uh, <laughs> like the they had a room off of their bedroom that could be converted to a large master suite, yeah, an office, or an extremely large walk-in closet. Like, yeah, we should make a weird closet, room. even a little bit too big to be a master walk-in. Yeah, but either way, it was just a bedroom. Yeah, so Shelby moved into what was the master bedroom, and I, she got a queen bed, ample amount of space. I move into a room with a twin size bed. It's, I mean, we laugh because look at the size of this room. I know, like, it's probably <laughs> bigger than this room. It was honest. a bit bigger than this room. Me and Ben laughed because and we would sleep sleepovers and sleep in my twin size bed. And we had to walk through Shelby's room to get to my room. We'd walk through and Shelby was just like living her best life. I did. So yeah, it, we, did. We, we shared rooms for a long time. And even when we didn't share rooms, we pretty much yeah shared a room. So. I mean, once you share a womb, you're ready for anything. For anything I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. Okay. Each other's dream job. That's a good question. Oh. Rachel Helms' dream job. <laughs> you could just say one word. I'll say it after. Famous? <laughs> no, Oprah. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> Oprah. Uh, I think, when I think of a rape, see, uh, Shelby's dream job would be like to basically be Magnolia Magazine, but like on her own. Shelby's gonna be the next Martha Stewart. She's like designing things, she's got her own HGTV show, she's got a magazine, she's got a bed linen line, she's got. <laughs> Like, you go to Target, Shelby's line is <laughs> Every there. time we walk through home says, Rich is like, mm, these are cute. One day you'll have a line here. <laughs> I just believe it. I believe I love in that. you. I love that. Yeah, Shelby has impeccable taste. Yeah. I think my dream job eventually would to have, to have a fully operating design service. Uh huh. And then also a classic brick and mortar accessory store with my own line of things pillows like in 10 years i'll be sitting in a bed that's like this is shelby's duvet this is shelby's pillow <laughs> shelby picked out this she designed this room yeah i think it these was, handles, i also want to shelby oh my god <laughs> she i have like specifically themed scents for like each mood she's like are you burning them in the winter this scent like yeah that would that be, be true. true that would be true um yeah i'd love that i'd love to have a magazine with my sisters Published. Yeah, I'd like to. Dream. I don't know. There's a lot that I'd like to do. I don't know. There's a lot of things. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But definitely in that capacity. Mm -hmm. What do you see for me, Rach? That's such a tricky question because it could literally be anything that's created. <laughs> I know. It could be literally anything. I have no. I don't think I know yet either. To be fair, like I can see you having. I don't know. It's so tricky. Like I eventually see how I'm baked having its own storefront with that, um, with like a work space or studio on the side. Like I could mm -hmm. teach you, I could see you teaching yoga. I could see you having your own photography business. I could see you owning your own roastery. I could see you as like a head barista training on the side, like side side. Like I just see you, I think the trick is with your dream job is I see you doing like eight different <laughs> things at once for the rest of your life. Like the way that you do now, like I, I just can't picture you having one job. Yeah. Whereas like me, I would like a title. I like having like something to 
to you know achieve and I see you just wanting to ha do whatever the hell you want to do which could be many things at once <laughs> yeah I think that like speaks to who we are as people like I'm much more loose and rough around the edges very chaotic like it's I just don't like hearing that word. Uh, you know, I am chaotic. It's the truth. Like, I thrive on chaos and I thrive on different environments. Well, different I think people. the truth with both of us is that our mom, like, growing up with our mom, she had a million different jobs at once. Mm -hmm. A million. Yeah, my mom had like eight jobs at a time all the time. Our mom like... still has not stopped moving. She never stops moving. Yeah. She always has a million jobs. So even right. now, I have a full-time job. I still feel obligated to have a side hustle and then a part-time job on the side if I can at right. all times. Like, yeah. if I don't have a part-time job, I'm seeking one out, even though I don't need it. Both just of us have that in us. <laughs> just in different, different sort of narratives. Like, I like having a structured work environment where you, like, I like having something structured, something that I can get dressed up for, something that I, like, know my limits and know my place in that situation. I know right. exactly what targets I need to hit to be successful, right. whereas for you, success is a totally different realm. Mm -hmm. but, but it's both similar for both of us. Like, we both need to be doing a lot of things that we feel yeah. passionate about and squeezing in as much as we can about what we love at one time, mm -hmm. but it's just different environments. Like, you like something a bit more casual, free-flowing, mm -hmm. and we've always been that way. Yeah, like all of our jobs growing up, Shelly has always worked in service and I've always worked alone. I'm amazed by that. I've always worked in customer service. Like, and actually our resume is incredible. Like my job list is like 20. Rachel has had like three jobs. Uh, it's insane. That's why I always think like I can't picture what you would do because for me like like, what are your jobs that you can list? Literally everything I've ever done has been customer service. Yeah, nothing And I've done, done so many, like, so many customer things. So there's certain times where we're together, <laughs> say, at the market, or just, like, engaging with people. And the thing you learn about customer service, the, probably the most important thing you can learn about customer You're service so is how to diffuse uh, a situation. It's so fake. Rachel's so rude sometimes. No, and I'm she, honest. I'm <laughs> honest is what it is. I know what your energy is right now. I'll match it. But there's a way to do it. Okay, we've been two questions. Who takes longer to get ready? You. <laughs> like, the thing with being a twin, the funny thing is, it's like, you do everything so side by side, so when one of you starts doing different things, you just notice it. It really shows when it's like side by side. My <laughs> older sister, I don't notice so much. You know, little things. So yeah. yeah, Shelby's way bougier than me. I love it so much. My sisters hold me together. Sometimes I am the most. Little push. I am the most. Just, you know, brush your hair, pluck your eyebrows, just a little bit Shall of a plush, plucks my eyebrows every, every time I come home. I just don't see people often. I just don't care. That's true. I think you work alone like, by I yourself. Work alone. I work alone. can't imagine that. Keep your eyebrows a little zhuzh. I You're always changing. have to keep my eyebrows up with you. I plucked them before you came. This is why I crave social interaction so much because I'm always alone. And <laughs> Shelby is like, I've just been dealing with people all week. I just don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, that was me today. Um, okay, oh, there's more items. Okay. We could do an Insta question. Oh my god, there's so, there's so. Oh my god, somebody, somebody's question was, there's two of you? I thought you just had multiple IG accounts. <laughs> Different, but I guess people see a similar editing style and they're like, oh, let's same be the person. same. I know. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, here's one that I do want to ask you though. Okay. It's just fun. Okay. Okay. Dis uh, there's two. Well, okay. Describe each other in three words. Articulate. Mm -hmm. Charismatic. Mm -hmm. Particular. <laughs> Shelby's very, that's so true. Yeah, you're like very charismatic, you're very particular, and your word, yeah, I don't know, your language is better. How would you describe me? Um, creative. Okay. First and foremost. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the right one, one syllable word. I can describe you, but in three words. I want to say like, I can't think of the word that I'm trying to think, but basically just like, no bullshit. Okay, that could be your other like, two words you if don't you want. give a <laughs> shit about anyone. <laughs> like what bad. anyone thinks. Like we'll be in public and Rich will be literally standing on the dining table trying to take a picture and I'm like, oh my god, people are looking. I don't care. 
I have no interest in these people here. They can suck it up. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I'm just so concerned. I'm always so concerned. Yeah, show me but everyone around more. me. Well, maybe I'm inconsiderate. Maybe I'm You just don't care. It's something I really love about you. Okay. <laughs> No, I really love it. It's like no, but like no, in many different aspects, like no shit. Like, just yeah. Whatever you're feeling, you are feeling it that day. Like Rachel will have a room full of friends over in her living room. Seven fifty nine. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. We're all like, oh, oh, oh my god. Like, not up for question. Not up for discussion. She's going to bed. Night's over. Everybody pack it up. She's going to bed. Like. Rach, I haven't seen you in three months. Like, do you want to go? No, I'm feeling not good this weekend. I'm not going. Or like that drive? Absolutely not. Like, like I feel like it's just like it's it's your way. Like it is just. And I love that about you. Like I don't know anybody that's set in their own life. And every now and then, from you. Like what would Rachel do? WWRD. <laughs> I get, yeah, no, you're not wrong. I'm not I wrong. just didn't think about it like that. <laughs> 7.59. I'm getting better. Okay. She's trying. I'm trying. I watched Yes Man. I'm trying to be more of a group player. Team, team player. player. Um, and then the third thing I would say is um, just bubbly. Oh. Like, just. So happy and upbeat and just like your energy it just like feels Aww. like it's just so nice to be really like, contagious. Thanks. Like, sis. You just want it and I feel like everybody feels that. They just like feel that Aww. with you. It's like a special bond that you have, but like with everybody. Everyone feels very Aww. protective about their relationship with you. Yeah, you know you're right. Um <coughs> Do you want me to pull another Insta question? Yeah. I didn't realize I did a little. I know it's a bit. Yeah. Are there any more burning questions you have, Shum? I don't think so. Somebody, I'm just gonna apply personally to some of these, I think. <sighs> what did you drink after I choose? As to chew my chat. That's that's been my takeover. Yeah. Any other? You're so other? nice to hug. You're just the perfect size. Oh, that's like we always notice. Like our bodies fit together like a puzzle piece. So whenever we <laughs> hug each other, it's like <gasps> feels like the perfect height and size and squish. <laughs> squish. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. That's all we've got. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been kind of fun. I'm sure Shelby will be here lots. But um, for now, you've got a taste. <laughs> and just also, this is another fun fact, but like when we were kids, I don't know if we said this, it was always like red, Rachel, blue, Shelby. So I put on a blue sweater as like retaliation. My car is baby blue as retaliation. Like literally I didn't wear blue I until high school. Yesterday it felt it Liberating. still feels like I'm an adult. I can choose my color. I had red glasses. Like everything was red. <sighs> yeah. But I think that's all. Would we recommend having twins? Yes. Do we want twins? Yes. Do yeah. I look like Shelby has a better chance of having twins? Yes. Yes. Am I bitter? Yes. yes. And that's <laughs> all we have to say about that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay. Boy problems. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>